Inc. in Nova Scotia, Canada. And normally I do stamping tutorials, but sometimes I do a new video titled Time Out with Tina. And this is one of those videos and they are not Stampin' Up! related or paper crafting related. Instead, they're just showing you a little glimpse into my life or sharing something that I love to do. And one of the things I love to do is make bread. And I have a delicious bread recipe I want to share with you. Um, I know a lot of my followers on my blog love my recipes that I share there. So this recipe is one that you're going to love. It's very, very easy, simple, something I've been making for years. And it's a magical bread that you put together and you let it sit on the counter overnight and then you bake it in the morning. And it is so delicious. So this is the bread I'm going to show you how to make. It is so good. It just came out of the oven maybe about 10 minutes ago. Whether you have it just as a side with soup and stew or if you toast it in the morning or make it into sandwiches, you're absolutely going to love it. And the really great thing about this recipe is you can adjust it to the flavors that suit you. So if you want to turn it to cinnamon raisin bread, throw in some cinnamon and some raisins. If you want it savory to go with maybe spaghetti, throw in some Italian seasoning. So you can really have fun with this bread. It takes less than five minutes to put this dough together and then you let it sit overnight and then in the morning you bake it and you are a star and your house is going to smell amazing. So let me show you how to put this bread together. Okay, so to make this bread, very simple, flour, yeast, salt, and water. So I'm just using regular all-purpose flour. The yeast that I'm using is called Red Star active dry yeast and I just get this at Costco it comes in a huge bag so I put what I need into a jar and I keep this in the fridge I make a lot of bread <laughs> and then I just package this up and keep it in the freezer the other ingredient I'm using is regular sea salt and then one and a half cups of water now this water is just room temperature it's important when you're measuring your water to set your measuring cup on um, a countertop and let it sit to make sure that you've got the right amount. Okay, so three cups of flour goes right into my glass measuring bowl. I just shake it to level it off. Okay. Next, I am adding um, one and a bit teaspoons of sea salt. And now I'm putting in half a teaspoon of the yeast. I like this recipe a lot because for some reason, as I've gotten older, my skin for some reason does not take kindly to yeast in bread and I love making bread and because this loaf of bread only takes half a teaspoon of yeast um, my body is happy with that so that's that's awesome okay so I'm just stirring and mixing those ingredients up and pouring all my water in at once and this is gonna make a really wet um, dough And I'm just going to keep mixing this up and stirring it until all of that flour is incorporated into the water. So it's important as you're mixing your dough that you check on the bottom of your bowl. You want to make sure that there's no flour down here and that you've got it all well mixed. So this is perfect. And all I'm going to do is cover this with plastic wrap and let it sit for at least 12 hours. 12 to 18 hours is great. But I will normally just leave this on the counter overnight and then it's ready to bake first thing in the morning. Okay, this has been sitting here overnight, sealed, and, and look at the difference. It has completely risen into this beautiful dough. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to turn it into a nice ball. Okay, so it's going to be sticky, so you do need to sprinkle on some flour. I'm doing this one-handed because I'm actually just holding the phone. But once you've got some flour on your counter, you just work this into a nice ball. 
Okay, so I've got this in a nice bowl. Now it's time to put it into a hot pot. Okay, this is the pot that I use. It's Lagostina pot. I love it. It's a great enamel, like Dutch oven pot. Gets super, super hot. It's been preheating in a 410 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Now before I put the bread in, I'm just taking a little bit of cornmeal and sprinkling it on the bottom. I just find that this gives it a really nice little crunch to the bottom crust and also it helps to take out that dough a lot easier. So now I'm just placing my dough right in the center. I'm putting the lid on and then this is going to go in the oven covered for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes I'm going to take the lid off and bake it for an additional 15 minutes. Okay, so this has been in the oven 30 minutes. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. I'm going to take the lid off. Look at that. So all the steam is making that delicious bread rise and just bake beautifully. It smells amazing in here. So now I'm just going to pop this back in the oven uncovered. It's still at 410 and I'm going to bake it uncovered for 15 minutes and then it'll be done. And here is the finished bread. Delicious. It's got that beautiful texture, crunchy, chewy on the inside. Let me show you the bottom. So the bottom is nice and golden and that's got that little bit of cornmeal on it. So good. Mm. Perfect. This bread is so delicious. Warm out of the oven, a little bit of butter and some homemade blackcurrant jam that I just made this past weekend and I'm in heaven. Give this bread a try. I'd love to hear your comments if you make it. It is pretty much a no-fill recipe. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Happy cooking!